What is up everybody out there? How y'all doing? Aaron here, here to give you another deck profile. Now of course, yeah. This is gonna be the King of the Skull Servant deck once again, but it's gonna be a bit different. So of course, yeah. King of the Skull Servant depends on for how many Skull Servants you have in your graveyard. And then combine the attack by the question mark of what King of the Skull Servant is times a thousand of how many Skull Servants you have in your graveyard. That is Skull Servant or is mentioned as Skull Servant. You can make Skull Servant one huge big monster and it's only a level one monster. So yeah. Now how I made this, you're gonna see in a bit of how it's a bit different than the first way how you saw it. So yeah, I guess you could call this as, your, as the second version of how I made the Skull Servant. Because, I'll go with first, yeah. We're just gonna discuss this first. King of the Skull Servant is your main boss monster. The boss monster of the deck. For all Skull Servants, like I just said, or Skull Servants, or as mentioned Skull Servant that's in the graveyard, that are going to be called Skull Servants times a thousand of what the attack is of King of the Skull Servants. If it is destroyed by battle, then what you're going to be able to do is move from play one Skull Servant, revive it right back from the field. Only if it's destroyed by battle. If it's destroyed by card effect, well then that doesn't go. But that's King of the Skull Servants. He is one huge big monster. I mean, I just swear, just a little level one monster and he's just that powerful. It will become that powerful. So then, like I mentioned, you need the regular Skull Servants. Best thing to do, do not get this in your hand. Try not to get it in your hand, but you want this because this is your original Skull Servant. So yeah, zombie fun deck. I liked it. Never thought of running this until a friend told me you should try it. Because I like running zombies. I just never tried a King of the Skull Servant deck until I decided to do it. So then, as I said about mentioning is the white cards, which yeah, they're called white zombies. Then so you go white princess. When this card is on the field, you're gonna when it is sent to, okay, when it's in the graveyard, it is mentioned as Skull Servant. So yeah, it is not Skull Servant, but it is mentioned as Skull Servant in the graveyard. So that's what I mean by you have other copies than just the original, just Skull Servant. These are mentioned as Skull Servant in the graveyard. So that's the, that's the one thing we know about White Princess. Now, okay, that's what we know about in the graveyard. Now I'll explain her effect. When White Princess is summoned or special summoned on the field, you get to get one white, you get to get a white prince from your deck, send it to the graveyard, or, now that's the, now that's the effect, okay, you'll be able to send away a white prince, or you can tribute this or discard it from your hand. Now, all ranked monsters or the level of monsters your opponent controls and yourself times 300 attack they're gonna lose on that one turn so it's like a little helper like a hand trap card it can be for ranked and the level of monsters your opponent controls including yourself hopefully that doesn't affect you as much even though if you're even if you're only gonna lose 300 attack so that's what white princess does pretty crazy Now, as I mentioned, now you got White Prince. Also mentioned as Skull Servant. So, yes, everything is gonna be called Skull Servant. By the original Skull Servant, or by, they're gonna be mentioned as Skull Servant. Well, then the graveyard. White Prince, anytime it is sent from your hand, field, or from the deck, like White Prince's effect, anytime it is sent away, you get to send away a regular Skull Servant, Or a, I will explain right here. Lady in white, send away each copy, one of each. Send it to the graveyard. And again, you have three copies, you have three skull servants already in your graveyard. 
So that's a help already to get a lot of a lot of material right there to help boost your power up when you play your King of the Skull Servant. That's the first effect we know. The second effect is you can remove from play White Prince and two other Skull Servants. Anything that's called Skull Servant. Remember, it doesn't have to be the original. Anything that is mentioned Soul Skull Servant as well. And Special Summon one King of the Skull Servants from your deck automatically to the field. Special Summon. So that's what we know about White Prince. Now, okay, white, the Lady in White is face up level three or lower, face up level three or lower monsters on the field, except the Lady in White cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, they, cannot, they are unaffected by spell trap cards except for itself. And then yes, be, it'll be called the Skull Servant. Remember, they're not called Skull Servants, but when the graveyard, they are gonna be, they are gonna be called Skull Servant. Then you got White Baking. This is like your hat, this is like a hand trap card. Because White Baking is, Whenever you have a zombie that is going to be destroyed by battle or destroyed by a card effect, you can send away white baking from your hand instead from it being destroyed to save your zombie. Then you're going to search for any card that is called Skull Servant or mention that Skull Servant. Get two. Get them to your hand. Out of those two cards, you must send away one of them. This is already to play to get your play of, you want to get your White Prince. And remember, Skull Servant or named Skull Servant. So King of the Skull Servants you can get. Then remember, discard one, right? Best thing to do, send away the White Prince. So then you have your Skull Servant, but then White Prince gets the effect of sending away a Lady in White and a Skull Servant. Now that's three, but when you throw away White Baking, that's four Skull Servants already. And then you have a Skull Servant. So when it comes to your next turn, or just, yeah, your next turn, maybe you're just gonna summon it. Now you have four. One, two, three, four. 4,000 attack your King of Skull Servants is. That's automatically gonna give yourself four, four, score, skull, four Skull Servants. Crazy, huh? And that's what the White Baking is. One white mirror is what I think you should be using. Just one. While it's in the graveyard, yeah, treated is named as Skull Servant. You can discard this card to activate one of the following effects. Select one of your remove from play Skull Servants or white mirror and return it right back to the graveyard. Or select one of your negate one of your remove from play Lady in White or King of the Skull Servants and special summon it. Most likely, you're not going to depend on that effect. You just want the, the you want you just want some help to increase your King of Skull Servants. Now, what I mean by it's a bit different is because you are gonna play branded. So, following about us, it is fun to do. When I started doing this, it was just so awesome because there is a way to do this. So yeah. You are gonna play Fallen of Albaz with this. So I'll brand it. That's it, that's it. That's the only monsters. So let's go with the magic cards now. So that's all monsters. So of course, yeah, since you're playing that, branded fusion, you're gonna need, and it's so fun to do, So a one for one. Now, okay. I would just use one of each of the forbidden. So forbidden lance, forbidden dress, forbidden droplet, and forbidden chalice. Reason I would say run these, and I would just say one, one of them. Because yeah, just read each effect of what they do. Forbidden chalice. 
target one piece of monster on the field until the end of this turn. That card gains 400 attack, but its effects are negated. Now think of it this way. If you have King of the Skull Servants on the field, but you know you have these cards, face down since, since all of them are, yeah, the forbidden cards are all quick plays. But imagine this. They're going to want to do something to kill your King of the Skull Servants on that turn. But what if you wanted to save it before playing your white baking in your hand that you had or you didn't? Just play a Forbidden Chalice on one of the monsters. Forbidden Dress. Target one face on monster on the field until the end of this turn. That target loses 600 attack, but cannot be targeted or destroyed by either card effects. So yeah, why not just have one of each of these out? You know, Forbidden Lance. Now, Forbidden Lance is target one face on monster on the field until the end of this turn. That target loses 800 attack, but is unaffected by effects of other spell, spell traps. So yeah. Just crazy little effects, you, you know, they have. Or then Forbidden Droplet is... Send any number of cards from your hand or on the field to the graveyard. Choose, at, choose that many effect monsters your opponent, can, your opponent has... Their opponent controls until the end of this turn. Their attack is halved. Also, their effects are negated in response to the card's activation. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of cards with the same original type monster spell trap as the cards sent to the graveyard to activate this card. Only be done once per turn. I would just say, why not just have these out? Just, just play one of them, one of each. And then yeah, one for one. And then that's not it, so just got those so far. Monster Reborn. Foolish Burial you're gonna need. Two Book of Moon. Two, not three, right, Gekis. Harpy's Feather Duster. So I'll put the line up right there. And then here's one tech card. With the new bandits that came out, this card came back. Snatch Steel. That came back. Came from the Forbidden List to back to its only a limited card. But Snatch Steel came back. Take control of a monster, your opponent, on your opponent's side. Take control of it and equips the Snatch Steel. Now, during each standby phase, if you control it, your opponent's gonna gain a thousand life points. So there's a plus and a minus to this. The plus is you can take control of your opponent's monster. And you keep it until to snatch steel until snatch steel is gone. The minus is you're gonna give your opponent life points. But hopefully that doesn't affect you as much because what do you know? If you're if you snatch your opponent's monster, and yet you have those huge big monsters out, it's possibly not gonna matter. Because even if they had okay, they were down to 2,000 life points. You snatch steel and you take away one of your one of your opponent's monsters. And they're and you put them down to like what um, 1,500 life points down? Alright, so they are 500. So, end of the turn, they'll gain a thousand, so they're back up to fifteen. But when it comes to your turn and posse, you have King of the Skull Servant now. Okay, now they're dead because they can't deal with it, no matter how much. So yeah, five thousand. You increase for them. They go up to. Oh my goodness, they go up. They go up again by another thousand. But with so much power you have out of your King of Skull Servants or whatever monster you have out. It's like no matter how much they get, you are just going to knock them right back down to zero. And the duel's going to end. But Snatch Steel came back. And then just for traps, Compulsion Torrential. Just 2-2. Two, two. And then just, that's the deck. Alright, now we'll go with the extra deck. So yeah, since you're playing okay, yeah, Mary Jane. Syrian Dragon.
Brandon Dragon Albion. If you're gonna play the extra deck, I would only really depend on these. But if you need to use the others, then I would say, okay, fine. Link Karibo, Relinquished Anima, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, and then if you need to, a Brewer Enforcer. But if you're gonna play from the extra deck, which most likely you are because of Branded, I would only depend on using the fusions. But if you need to, yeah, use the others. Now I'm gonna show you an example right now of why it's gonna get fun when you use Branded. Okay, example. Brand Fusion. You're gonna go Fallen of Albas. And White Prince. Now, why did I do that? Okay. You need Fallen of Albas and a Dark. So, what makes that? Dark Monster and Fallen of Albas. So, Searing Dragon. Now, okay. Now remember, White Prince. Skull Servant. Lady in White. What if you had it just in your hand? Okay. Now you're gonna summon. You have three already, so make it a 3,000 attack. Here's another thing. Searing Dragon's effect is, you can special summon out a level eight as long as you use the material. To make a fusion out of Searing Dragon, you need to send back the material you need. So, the best one to bring out is Mary Jane. So Mirror Jade is, you need a Fallen of Abbas and an XYZ Synchro or Link Monster. Just send away back your Searing Dragon. Send away, send back to your deck. Mary Jade, and you still have your King of Skull Servants. Simple as that. Albion is you need a lights, right? Well, the only lights you have in here This is your light. White Princess is a light. There are just so many so many things in here. So yeah, even if you needed to, okay. Then yeah, Albion is possible to do. So yeah, fun deck. I love it. I started playing this, it, you know, against some of my friends of mine. They got surprised, like, how the hell did he bring out just one level one monster, and I'd be ma and I made it up to like a seven thousand attack? Because there are just so many plays I can do to. Like, let's see, what I remember was my last play. Okay, I did not have King of the Skull Servants. But I did have Fallen of Albas. So yes, it was, yeah, the combo I just showed you right here that I did. This was my last move, and this is how I won the game. Won the duel. Okay, so yeah, Skull Servant. And yeah, Syrian Dragon. Add another White Prince. Where are you? Oh yeah, and a one for one. One for one and a oh yeah, tarantula. 
is what I had. So I set my torrential. Now, I was gonna do the effect, but I was Ash Blossom from doing the effect of bringing out a Mary Jane. Cause that's what I was gonna do. So yeah, send away, send away, but no, I was Ash Blossom by this. All right, fine. So what did I do next? One for one. Send away my white prince. Then, okay. Now then, since white prince is gone, throw away another lady in white. Throw another skull servant. And now it's one for one. So I bring out a level one. King of Skull Servants. Now, how many did I have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six then I had. So a 25 attack I had and a 6,000 attack I had. And my opponent had nothing left. So he was down to like a thousand, but he had a way of like, you know, stopping because he played a Wabaku on me. I'm like, all right, fine. That's fair enough. But then my draw, I was just so damn lucky. That was my draw. Foolish burial. Send away. So. That's what happens sometimes when you have Foolish Burial, you can send away the White Prince. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, my mistake, it was at nine. <laughs> and then just, yes, that huge big advantage right there. So sometimes there are ways to do this. That was just my last play, if I, if I remember, yeah, that was the way to do it. And I ended the duel right there with the huge big monster. So just, yeah, just this little monster, huge attack it can be. And then just, yes. This is now with the Fallen of Albaz. And then what came back, Snatch Deal. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll show you a video on this and more deck profiles will be coming. Speak to y'all later. Peace.